Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? I am going to show you, I thought people might be interested in this. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you all how I make classic Cajun seasoning. I'm making black eyed peas for dinner tonight and it calls for that. And usually I have a jar pre-made, but I ran out and didn't make any new because I was down in New Orleans. So, um, here we go. I'm going to use a cup. To, yeah, I'm predictable. I'm going to use a cup today to put it in because I don't need a lot. I'll make a big batch later in the week. So um, normally I just do a pinch, a dab, or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all to use, to start off, half a tablespoon of everything except the cayenne. The cayenne, you should probably use a quarter tablespoon because in Cajun spices, it's supposed to be kind of, as I was taught, a ghost of heat in the mouth. It doesn't burn you. It just kind of is a ghost in the mouth. So we'll start off with the mustard here. So like I said, y'all can do a half a tablespoon. I do my own little... Uh, amounts here so I usually cover the bottom first with hot with the uh, ground mustard here then I do dried thyme same thing kind of just cover up the whole bottom layer so basically I just go layer by layer now the cayenne here's the cayenne some people like to use smoked I just use regular cayenne and I just do just about that much. So half as much or a third as much of everything else that I'm doing. Uh, then you do your granulated onion. I use mine with parsley. Some people don't like that, but that's what I use. I use the parsley. So again, you do enough to cover up the last layer. Put that over there so I don't put the cayenne in again. Um, then you do some oregano. I use different brands. Um, my oregano is kind of not as open as it should be, so this might take a little bit longer. Sounds like my dogs have heard something outside, so you'll get a little bit of their input on this. So there you go, another layer. Then the next thing I use is, I use granulated garlic. Some people use garlic powder. I like the granulated garlic better in this. So it pours a little easier. And then the paprika is super important. Some people use smoked, again, smoked paprika. I prefer just regular, this brand, um, I really do. And then this is a, a bit that some people say is right and some people say is wrong, but I've always used this bit. I've always used cumin, always. So, you know, depending on who you talk to, that might vary. I don't put as much cumin. I just do like a light layer of cumin there. And then last but not least, a little bit of celery salt, as you can see. Now, just a little bit, not much, a pinch, just a little bit, like so. I've made a bit of a mess here, obviously. Now, I did use pull out measuring spoons just to maybe think about using measuring spoons, but that's not the way I cook. Uh, I find that the recipes I've always known and loved, I just... I just know how much to do so but I'd recommend starting off with a half, half a tablespoon of each um, with half the amount of cayenne maybe even a third of the amount of cayenne a third of the amount of cumin and just a pinch of the celery salt some people put extra salt in it some people put extra pepper in it I don't do that I wait until I'm cooking the beans or whatever else I'm using this in to taste to see how much I need so I salt and pepper to taste I hope this was a little bit informative um, I know it's kind of haphazard slapped together but that is the way I cook that's the way I've always cooked 
but I hope you enjoyed this video and put any questions in the comments down below if you have anything that I can help you with. Happy cooking. Have a beautiful day.